just want oh yep, these guys are moving again these folks can't make up their mind where they want to be let's see trade wise still doing the same hello everyone welcome back to ancient cities this is panic with gray wolf stand and we're going to jump right back into our village here we are from before we got our temple finished we got some bows here now primitive bows let's check out our folks 74 total 24 elderly 34 adults 16 children 42 males 32 female one pregnant 29 idle 45 work let's see about our groups here so we got no trades going on at the moment i do if you guys do remember i did cut back on the boat cut back on the fishers getting low on fishing and i think that yeah that trip's already come back in already that trade has so let's uh bump our numbers back up for our fishing let's check out our map we have like i said before we have some new neighbors here let's see what they're trading here they want they will supply fish and they're demanding stone our first let's get back to our village our first storehouse is complete so on the storehouse i don't really know much about it but let's check it out i want to see what it can do so it's looking like just one particular food overall that can be stored in here then up to 300 we don't really have any food particularly that's that deck i'm high what we got here cheese bread berries beetroot hazelnuts honey what is this that's milk pulses what is this sweet grain we know what those are we have the most dried fish we, i guess we can put dried fish over there so we can change this to let's see let's do this one as root and let's change that one's got five honey in there beetroot just in case we pick any more of that up all right so we got a new uh food fish storage place i thought it was going to be where it covered multiple um i'm not looking like it's going to be more than just the one i'm not even sure if i mean if you had a lot of food of one particular type that would be great people going out doing work housing looks like all the housing is repaired and they are finishing up this one here we do have enough reed here that they should be able to finish this one here out as far as repairs go because they're still bringing in a good amount how are we doing on housing 11 people without housing or 11 percent excuse me messes me up every time <laughs> running out of food can't get clams and pine nuts so everything else is pretty much good We've got some pulses coming in beetroots coming in mushrooms Get down to nighttime, and everybody's starting to settle in for the night, getting something to eat. You see people coming in and out of the little huts there. There's our storehouse. It's got our fish on it. Let's check to see if that little basket is starting to clear out fish. Yep. Fish are all cleared out. Let's look over here. Storehouse is not saying that it has any just yet. They might have pulled it out and got to redo it. They went through the night there pretty quickly. And there's all of our people moving around see people going out the back see people going out this way over here all right so let's see got some more people walking over this way with reed so hopefully they'll get this one right here done got repaired and fixed up so that we can uh start on this we might as well just go ahead and start building the framework for that one. all right so our long time leader Agile has passed away and we have a new leader now. Caddy. 64 years old. Hut there up to priority level. And get people down here collecting reed in the water. You see them all right there gathering up reed. This guy here is fishing. A little bone harpoon. One good thing about our village here is we got enough stone that we can add on. Or close off the rest of it or the remaining parts of it that we wanted to do I think I talked to uh, I thought about one time before about taking this wall here out and bringing another wall straight down through here 
because a lot of this is flat area to do uh, housing on and everything. Wouldn't be too uncommon to have a few homes and stuff along the river banks and stuff. Or not right on the river because this river might rise up. So probably putting a few here and there. Ooh, let's see. Just want up. Oh, yep, these guys are moving again. These folks can't make up their mind where they want to be. Let's see. Trade wise, still doing the same trade. Don't have anybody else coming closer, do we? See anybody moving? I thought there was a few villages over in this area, but it looks like they've all moved. A lot of them are starting to bunch up here in the north. They're all right there on top of each other. So if we did a couple of straw huts, like this little smaller one, so we could put a couple of houses right out of here. Let's see. A lot of our huts are only at 3% without housing. So that's good. So we'll have a little bit of a surplus once we get this other big hut built. Another night here at the den. Let's see all of our people here gathered around the campfire. I wonder is there a lot of traffic has there been a lot of traffic around the temple here? I haven't seen anybody really going over in this area just yet. We could put a few houses over in here as well. Not really thrilled with the storehouse. It'd be it'd be cool if you could like split it up to a couple of different sections where you could put a lot of different food in there. We were talking about like one storehouse per food. That's gonna take a lot of damn time and supplies to do that. Who knows though? Who knows? Oh, we need to. Do we have fish in here. We have no, We don't have anything in here. What if we put the raw meat? Can you put raw meat and meat? See, you can't even do that. The meat and stuff should go raw or dry. Should go immediately on. I'm going to put this back to the fish. I don't have a place to put dried fish. Um, should immediately go on the racks, you would think. I could eventually start moving these racks to the back side over here by the storehouse. So we can keep the food over there and start putting more housing in this area as well. A lot of reed. 81 reed. We've almost enough to do well, more than half to get this. But right now we're okay with housing because once this gets once this one right here gets finished or uh, more than enough room for everyone we still have one uh smaller hut here on idle which we could move that one to say over here somewhere one there put one there we put a little small one a, a, a group, small little group of four right in here one there one there one there Actually, let's go. Can't see. Okay, there's rocks here. All right, so let's take this one right here and cancel it and change it over. Spin it. Put one in there. So we got some more houses ready to go up when the time comes. Want to get this other big one here built. Might even tear this one down here. Way it forces the people to go over there we can keep this big central area going but i do have to take this one right here out when it's time to repair so we want this whole area opened up doing pretty good though so far let's check our people around us and see about trades let's see what he's got he is still supplying the stone sickle you're supplying the fish let's trade and i'm going to put two members on that and then we're going to trade with you and we're going to put one person on that so it doesn't take too much of the dry fish that we do have so they won't go out tonight they'll go out the next morning so trade with these two you can see if you look at my little town little village here you see like four little bumps like i didn't look at the size of it it's not that big these guys have six these guys only have two. Let's see how that goes with the trade. There's all of our people, of course, moving around again, stretching, yawning. Somebody just went inside the hut. So we got a lot of straw now. That's good. Roots and stuff starting to come in some more. We got four rope. Got a lot of plant fiber. That's a big deal. 
Everything else is looking all right. We only got eight bows. We've lost a couple. We've lost four bows and everything. And we can't build those. But let's go check out our craftsmen because I do want to look over a few things too, though. See what they can. Can they do the biface? We lost the ability to do it at one time. Yeah, we can't build anymore. So we need to take that out. Move. I took the wrong thing out. Will you stop? Okay. Let's pause for a second. I messed up. So we're going to do. What is this? I'm going to change that to 10. Keeping it at 10. Stone axe. We'll do a stone axe as well. So that's all we can build right now. Starting to get into the winter. What we got here? 20 out of 50. A little bit more summertime. We've lost another person. It's probably something else we need to do too is go check out. So here's our graveyard right here. Probably wouldn't hurt to. Oops. Let me do that. Probably wouldn't hurt to build a few more of them out here. And here's some decorative, decorative stuff. So common grave. I'll put one here for right now. You had somebody going way out here. Let's see what they're doing. They are gatherers. We got a long trail going out this way. I wonder what our people are going for. Wait, whoa, it goes way over here. It's still going. I don't see anything beyond that. Let's see if our uh, person comes way up here. It's a deer. Wild horse. Yep, there's our person right there. See where they go to. Where are they going? This is Bodie. What is he doing? Oh, there's a kill here. Okay. He was going back to harvest the kill. Uh oh. Good, good. Just don't know why he comes all. Well, there's another person there. What are they doing? Oh, there's something right there, maybe. No. Oh. Something right here. Meat there. Oh, okay, they're gathering up the meat. Oops, sorry. I didn't do that. They're going a long way out for for food and stuff. Let's see about our trade. Our guys are almost there at both places. Our our traders are almost there. I would say guys, it's more than likely women do. 100%. So I'm thinking about seeing how this turns out for us these guys keep moving a lot they have 10 fish okay he's got three stone sickles right all right he's got three stone sickles coming back with them he has 11 raw stone that's what we took is he gonna come back today or tonight no nope, he will not be traveling this night so maybe on the next day we'll catch him all right, so we will be having stone sickles. Of course, really, right now, there's no use for us because we, we haven't started doing the farming thing yet. But it is a, a way of, to, you know, knowing that we can we can get the tools if need be. Traders group has carried out its mission. Let's check them out. They've got 40 dried fish because of 11 fine stone. Can you believe that? What happened to those trades? <laughs> Nowadays, damn get what i say 40 fish for 11 fine stone anybody need some fine stone i got a bunch of it around here so we've got two trader groups out they should be heading back or they are heading back soon one one of them only had one person in it so one guys was or one group was heading back i think that's the one man uh, one more one man trading group was coming back already for night belt now they're picking up on a hazelnut going through it but meat's doing good what are our hunters hunting at the moment but 81 of 86 and raw meat holy gosh two or three so i wonder if that's how many we've already gotten 81 of the 86. let's see is there can we get boars yet uta is not an adult let's see about our traders yep they are almost home so 67 read that'll put us about 128 if they was to grab all of it now that's good we more or less almost have enough to finish the whole thing out 
our small group has returned. There's our three stone sickles. Well, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I, mean, I didn't mean to do that either. Our other, tra our other trading group is just about here. What I wanted to do is to see about this, if I was to do this. All right, so we are gonna move our racks eventually. I already got them set up, but we're gonna eventually move them over in this area here so we can start opening up more of this area. Because eventually I wanna get these baskets moved around as well. We have all of our traders back. We've got the fish right there and our stone sickles. Still plenty of reed. I should be able to finish this one out mm, fairly soon. Not with what we have, but they eventually will. So that'll definitely take care of the housing issue completely. We only have 1% without home. It says we're running out of food. 72 total. Now, what I am thinking about doing is this. All of our people are in. We do have, ooh, we're low on bows now. So let's get through the night and then we'll set up our next idea, what we want to try to accomplish. The hazelnuts are booming. Plenty of fish. Between those two, We've got a lot of meat as well. So food shouldn't really be an issue. Although I know it is. Look at that. The honeycomb that we were going to trade. Gone. Or that we were, you know, had the ability to trade. Wren has given birth. Another 46 there. So we got plenty of reed to finish this out. Got our people moving around here. Getting settled and relaxing for the, for the night before they turn in. Go ahead and speed them through the night. I don't see anybody out here really. There's one person right there. Meteor just shot over. There it goes again. Another one over there. So, let's see. We'll go ahead and open these racks up. And we'll start moving food and stuff over eventually. Or get, ooh, game saved. A little bit of jumpiness there. Alright, got a couple dryers ready already. But... That's another dryer's ready. So let's do fish and fish. We'll do meat and still building that last one there. How much more? Two more rope we got and fine stick we got. So just need you guys to bring it over here and throw it up. We'll lock that one down as meat too once it's built up. Just need one more fine stick and two rope. Our house here isn't too far away. We got plenty of reed. Well, that should be just enough reed to finish it off. That's perfect timing on that. Okay, dryer is ready. So we'll put meat on that one as well. Now, this is what we're thinking. Don't know how well this is going to work out. If it doesn't, we might start all over somewhere else. But if not, We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So, wait a minute. I got, what is this, traders? Did I send them out again? I was, they weren't supposed to go back out again. Ooh, I didn't cancel them. Well, I guess we're not going to do what I was thinking about doing just yet anyway. Until those traders get back. All right. I don't know why I sent them with, to do more. But they did. Let's see what he's got. We got 39 or 29 excuse me fish and two sickles so they'll get back mm, sometime tomorrow i believe i'm not sure how long they've been out i wasn't paying that much attention that was completely my fault so we've got four fish on this one 22 there 20 and 10. so all of our meat and i believe all of our fish is here kind of hung up right now uh, let's look at oh no issue with housing at all right now no issue two babies remember when I came in we had 42 and 32 that's what we're, we're, we're losing now right now. Got plenty of food probably not a large and variety of food like we should have but a good amount of food coming in keep us going it's just not enough to like big population boom or anything going on just yet Let's speed them through the night. Everybody get rested up, get our traders back in. 
think our other reed hut here is almost finished. Yep. I thought it was done, but not not yet. Not yet. Hmm. They're not gonna work on it through the night anyway. But morning is fast approaching. Hopefully they'll be able to knock that out and we'll have plenty of housing for our people. So once our traders get in, we'll kill it. I mean, not kill it, excuse me. We'll stop it there. Once they come back in, let's check, see about where they're at right now. They're getting close. So once those guys come in, we can end those groups so they don't go back out. Because we dang sure don't need them to. Gonna run us out of supplies. Let's see. Yep, everybody's still in the same spots. Is he still trading for the same stuff? Yes, they are. All right. So now, this is my idea. These guys here, small village, it's raiding time. We're going to send these guys off for a raid and see what happens. We get enough people in there, maybe they can go grab some stuff and see if we haven't done this just yet. So this will be our first raid, folks. First time we're going to send out a raid. What's the problem? Not enough members for raiding? Okay, we'll cut it back then. Alright, so we are sending out our first raid once everyone gets gathered up and ready to go. It's starting to get nighttime, so they might not have left just yet. Which they haven't. So they'll probably leave the next morning. And when they do, we will see you guys then. Until next time.